Hello, and welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thank you very much for tuning in, finding my YouTube channel among the millions, maybe billions of YouTube channels you have a choice of. I talk about fountain pens, their associated accessories, ink, paper, and one of the things that all of us fountain pen users are very much aware of is the need to clean our fountain pens regularly. There are very, very many methods of doing this, and you see in front of you one of those options, an ultrasonic cleaner. A gentleman reached out to me, here's some emails, and asked me if I wanted to review an ultrasonic cleaner, and I said sure, because it is definitely something that many pen users use to clean their pens. And I've dabbled with it before, but it wasn't something that I really spent a lot of time with. And this opportunity, I will spend more time with it. And we'll give you a little sneak preview of what we did. Here's the Amazon listing for the ultrasonic cleaner that I will be reviewing. I can't comment on pricing. You could spend less, but to me, this is extremely well built. It works extremely well. It does what it's supposed to do. And I can't imagine all the different parts in engineering and manufacturing that is required to produce this ultrasonic cleaner. So let's dive into it, take a look at the bits and pieces, and take a look at some cleaning. Hopefully, you find it interesting, educational, and enjoyable. Watch. So one thing that's good is also having a nice user guide to help you use your ultrasonic cleaner. Some introductory materials, some index, safety instructions, which I'm certain you'll read very carefully. The whole purpose of an ultrasonic cleaner is to get rid of dirt. And here's the suggested applications. As you can see, more than just pens. Here's a nice description of the different parts of the cleaner. And they have a CD rack. I haven't thought about cleaning CDs or DVDs, but that makes a lot of sense. A watch stand so you can drape your, your watch across that. I suggest you only do it with watches that are very waterproof. And the basket, which we will use with the pens. And here's a step-by-step -step description of using the ultrasonic cleaner. So one thing I noticed, the plug is very stiff. And depending upon what you plug it into, you may require some adjustments of the prongs. I noticed somebody said theirs didn't turn on, and my guess is that's because the plug wasn't working properly. So keep that in mind when you use it. The buttons are easy to use. There's only three and they're kind of self-explanatory, and the display really shows you what happens. Some uh, cleaning instructions, maintenance and storage. I mean, it's, it's a pretty complete manual, and of course, specifications. So one would assume that if you bought an ultrasonic cleaner, you kind of have an idea of how it works and what you're gonna use it for. This booklet helps explain all the different features that you might wanna use. So the real key to any cleaning device is how well it cleans. So we're gonna look at this real time. When you plug in the ultrasonic cleaner, this will show up at 180, so you know that you have power going to the unit. And uh, Mr. Seesmore says, yep, I see the power. So let's uh, take a look at what pen we're gonna clean first. So those of you that follow my channel might recognize this pen. It's the uh, Fan Moo. I think this might have been the first Fan Moo that I got. Eyedropper fill, nice uh, roll stop on it, interesting ribbon acrylic. This has been inked up and not used for a number of months, so we have a lot of ink that may have been in that section and feed. So normally I would flush, but we're just going to unscrew this. We'll dump the ink back in the bottle. 
as you can see it takes a few turns a nice o-ring there i mean it's a well-designed pen and very affordable we're going to drop it in the basket we're going to see that ink's going to come out right away as my light falls over but now we're going to turn on the ultrasonic and we'll see now that ink is coming out of the feed and nib which is nice you know that's one of the challenges with cleaning out this pen is getting all the ink out of the nib and feed which is down here I have it in a basket so it's not sitting at the bottom I think that's the best approach to take yeah there's a little error there so it was out so what we're actually doing is we're replacing what would be normally a long mechanical process of flushing and reflushing and everything else and using the ultrasonic cleaner to dislodge any of the ink within those little crevices and get the pen clean as we look at the timer we'll see that we have a I set it for three minutes which who knows what is actually needed we're gonna let it run for the three minutes and then take a look at this nib and feed and section and see how well it has been cleaned so the ultrasonic cleaner is going to make a little noise but this one I think is extremely quiet and that's a nice feature I certainly don't mind it it's almost like a white noise in the background and you know how sensitive my mic is there's the sound so the cleaning cycle is finished I emptied out the ink but there's always little bits that still remain so now that we have the ultrasonic cleaner set up we're going to put those in probably could have added it's not quite at the max level in fact I could add more water but that's enough to get everything situated get the air out of it because the air is not going to allow the ultrasonic cleaner to do its work as I mentioned when you turn on the cleaner it defaults to 180 which is uh, three minutes I think you cycle through 280 380 480 and then you're to 90 which is the shortest cycle and then you hit the on off to clean so let's scroll up and see how that ultrasonic cleaner is taking care of the little bit of ink that was left in the cap and barrel we'll just move them around a little bit yeah I think they're in doing in good shape and we'll see after the 90 seconds is up how well they've come out so for those of you that might be concerned about anything that might splash or come out of the ultrasonic cleaner you can always put this lid on it actually deadens the sound a little bit more if that's also something that you want to do but for observation purposes we're going to take the lid off you can hear the sound change here we are in the countdown and there we are with clicked off so we're going to bring out the cap because that had a little bit of ink left in it and it's pretty clean I'm really happy with that and of course the barrel is also very clean so this is certainly a system that will work for those that like a machine to do most of the cleaning and it does an effective job so we're back to the nib section and feed and as you can see there's still a little bit of ink left in it so we're going to clean out the water and throw it in again and attempt to completely remove the ink so one of the things I like about this design is everything is easy to work on so you got this little handle which allows you to pull off the container of water the unit automatically shuts off which is nice so we're going to put some fresh water in, put the nib and feed and section back in. So I've uh, rinsed out the container and we're going to replace it. As the tray sits back in, you'll see the light come back on at 180, which is its default. And we're ready to do another cleaning. So we're going to take the nib and feed, which has some ink left in it. 
As you can see, it's still coming out, and we're going to run it again to see if we can completely remove any ink that's left in there. We'll zoom in a little bit. And we'll let the ultrasonic do the work. As you can see now, that's very well immersed because I have the ink level right at the max line. It gives me lots of water to use for cleaning. One of the things we didn't talk about was the power button. You click it, it's at three. Three is the strongest setting. And it cycles between three. One is the weakest setting. And two is the middle one. Three is the highest one. You can hear the sound change as I change the power. I would probably always use three, but you never know if you have something that might be delicate, you might want to use one. So the cycle has completed. We see a little bit of ink there coming out. So we'll bring in the paper towel. Certainly much better. I'm impressed. There's still a little bit of ink left. So I forget how easy the nib and feed pull out. They pull out pretty easy. So if that's the case, we'll just now use the ultrasonic on these bits. And you can see how the ink does come off of it. So let's power this sucker up and finish the cleaning. Yep, it's now working. And again, one of the things that we've learned is for a thorough cleaning, you may have to pull out the nib and feed, but this will make more effective use of getting every bit of ink out of that feed, which, as you know, has all these little channels and fins and everything else. And sometimes ink gets between the nib assembly and the section. There's a whole bunch of reasons why you might want to just pull it out and finish the cleaning like this. And I'm certain that will remove every bit of ink. You can see the water is getting that bluish turquoisey color from the ink. Ah, the feed was doing some crazy little dance from the ultrasonic cleaner. You can see that thing really getting to work there. It's the fun part of doing something for the first time over the camera. You need definitely a lot of efforts being used by this ultrasonic cleaner to get rid of all the ink. So the cleaning cycle has finished. So let's see if there's any ink left in this feed. The paper towel test shows no ink. Beautiful. So that worked out well. I don't think I'd use these metal tweezers if the ultrasonic cleaner was running, but it works well when it's not. So now we have a well-cleaned pen ready to be re-inked or put into storage for future use. What do you think of that? So one of the things that we've learned from this cleaning experiment is you still may have to pull nib and feed to get a thorough cleaning, but sometimes you can't pull nib and feed, and this will definitely remove probably 90% of the ink. So that's better than other methods that you might try to use. And it does certainly reduce the manual effort of cleaning while producing good results. That's my opinion and my observations and my findings from using this ultrasonic cleaner. We've reached the end of the review of the ultrasonic cleaner. Thank all of you for watching. I hope this video finds all of you safe, healthy, and happy, enjoying your clean pens, enjoying re-inking them with a new ink, a different ink, because that's what cleaning really is good for. They reached the end of this video. We're going to say bye till the next one.